Hello, welcome to episode 341 of Oatmeal Breakfast Plays a Video Game. On this episode I start off 1984 ZX Spectrum games on the website I play the ZX Spectrum games on. It's a game called All or Nothing. I read a Wikipedia article about All or Nothing and I watched a walkthrough video of All or Nothing. Even though I watched the walkthrough video I could not remember which warehouse to go in. It was hard for me to read the numbers but I thought the warehouses were numbered. I was able to get the watch, and I was about to try to get in a warehouse but, I could not guess the code fast enough. I just went through the numbers on the keyboard. At least I was not killed by the guards or guard dogs, and I even figured out how to move the character around pretty good. I was afraid that I would not even be able to get the key but, I was wrong. What else can I say about all or nothing? I like it. So maybe I will come back to it and see if I can beat it. The transporter scene at the end of the game is cool. So maybe one day I will get good enough at all or nothing to get to that point. At least I have made it through the 1982 and 1983 video games on the website of ZX Spectrum Games. I have played a lot of cool ZX Spectrum video games. And to think that I had never heard of ZX Spectrum before this year, I was missing out. Look at all the great ZX Spectrum video games I have played. I have been trying to think about Dragon Hunter text video game and what type of game I want to make with Pie Game. I know I want to make Oatmeal Breakfast the star of all my video games. Oatmeal Breakfast could be the main character of Dragon Hunter. That means I don't have to come up with names for the lead character for my video games. Oatmeal Breakfast is a star. Not if my video games are as successful as my other projects are. At least I can put Oatmeal Breakfast into my video games. I can't just sit at my computer and come up with a video game. I know I have to think about what I want my video game to be like. How many levels does it have? How many and what types of enemies? How how many levels? Oh, I already said levels. I want to make as much of the things for my video games as I can. The music, graphics. I have already got a video game made even though it does not do much. I am talking about the first version of Dragon Hunter. I slapped it together just so now I can say I have made a video game. I am almost done with Slam Dunk Song. I have finished the music and lyrics. All I have to do now is mix it. I can't believe when I started making music that I did not know that it might be a good idea to mix my songs. At least I know now. I think my songs sound better now that I mix them. Though I doubt anyone else wants to listen to my song at least I like my songs. I figure it will take years and years to make good songs. I wish I only had to make one or two songs, and they would have been huge hits. 